All right, boys, day one at LZ's compound. We got in this morning at 8 o'clock in the morning. What time is it now? I don't really care. It's already 3.30. I know. I've been editing all. All right, Tommy, here, you're, you're guiding the vlog right now. Oh, hell yeah. All right. So, so the ramp, the only thing it's good for is unloading your car. Yeah, not not jumping a car off of it. So I heard we're going to take advantage of this, mm. you know, because the whole trail situation. Yeah. It's too bad. Cracked my T3, T4 vertebrae off that jump. A little sore today. What are you fucking laughing about? Crack your fucking neck. You use a lot of a lot of paid time off to come out here from Hot Topic or what? Yeah. <laughs> Hella PTO. You've been working there 12 years now. That's it. Well, decided to uh, randomly down for as soon as we went to go take it off. So we had to wait for the rain to stop. Real bad timing. Love that. Now begins this. <laughs> Wish us luck here. It seems to be that the boards do work perfectly for the S15. We'll see when we take the 13 off. That's how it does. The transmission just so low on that with the CD009. Ah, you like that, Tommy. Yeah, that's good. Ah, oh, that's good. You like that, Tommy, huh? 15 came off pretty smooth, even though everything was super slippery, but, but we were filling this thing with ethanol on the trailer earlier, and gas was pouring underneath the car, so I don't know what happened to the gas tank, but something happened either loading on the trailer or just being on the trailer, so I'm really worried. So we took this thing on the lift ASAP and hope that my gas tank didn't split. Oh, turn a little right. Just a hair right. Go right. Get in on there. I got an idea. Just put your wood under the front wheels. You gotta lift the front up. You're good all day now. All day. It's so low on gas that when I do a pull, it fuel sloshes. All gas on the trailer. Yeah, I don't know why it's coming out. You hear like three goblins. You're rubbing on the quarter panel. <laughs> Just randomly developed a fuel issue. Sick, but definitely looks good, that's for sure. Look at the two. I like to think in Japan, they were best friends. <laughs> they look sick. Don't they? Gannies and the blackness, can't beat it. So we're on the lift here. We have two things to do. We got to finish hooking up the sway bar in the front, and we also have to figure out what's leaking. And no, I'm kidding. Uh, we have to figure out what, what's leaking in the rear. Uh, DJ and Ant filled up, went to go fill up the gas tank, and three gallons of gas just went over the trailer. I don't know why. Did the tank randomly crack? Did it line burst? Who knows? We gotta figure it out. Ant's 5'5". Five five. I'm 5'9". Five, I'm five yeah, you're 5'1", dude. Dude, you're this, five, is you're this is brought up way too much. Nothing about you is 5'9". Who's got nine. a tape measure? Go in that, that you're 5'9"? There's, there's a tape measure. No! Right Tommy's 6'0". Yeah. 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 I know! What the <laughs> f I'm the same size as Tommy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Are we close? No. No. Let's no. get the toe points You're 5'3". They just downpoured, so everything's soaked, so it's going to be a little hard, but we'll figure it out. I feel like it's the seam, dude. Looking at this right here, and that looks fresh. I'm thinking maybe when the tr on the trailer, it's smashing the ground just like the exhaust no, is. Like, these gouges look fresh right here. And which... maybe it stressed it enough to split it. What hit it? Because the rear bumper doesn't hit. We got the heights. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, yeah. DJ is 5'4", I'm 5'10". No, he was 5'8", I'm 5'10". You're 5'10". That yeah. just measured. I measured, yeah. 16 feet tall. Yep. I didn't say anything wrong. Oh yeah, sorry, back to this. No, no, okay, okay. So if you look, there's fresh gouges on the tank, which means something hit the tank, which probably put stress on it, which then cracked it. The problem is, the rear bumper wasn't hitting anything, so how did the gas tank get hit on the trailer, but the rear bumper didn't, because it's lower? I have a theory. Yeah, hey, let's hear it. I have a theory. Ant jamming the jack under here constantly without checking, you know, just fucking ramming it. That's a good theory, or good theory, I think but... Grant was out there with a flathead. <laughs> Gouging at the, oh, for the, the comp, for the competition. Before the comp. Trying to sabotage oh. some people. What about this though? This it looks kind of fresh. Cue the Beastie Boys sabotage, you know? Who do you think did it, Marco? I feel like Marco did it. Sam it. Sam it. My money's on Sam it. Sam it. 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 S13, you same one height, out there. a lot of shit going on there, right? Oh my Sam. god. Did I just get sabotaged by Sam it? Yeah. Just take his well, gas listen, tank, listen, his car's yeah. out there. I'll take the gas tank out He's of his He's nowhere to be found. He'll never know. 
It's not much gas in it, so. I hope there's not much gas in it. it seemed to all leak out, didn't it? Decent amount, at least two, three gallons. That's <laughs> a lot of money in ethanol. <laughs> 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 so really, uh, we drop the two straps and the whole thing comes out, so... Oh, we have to do the, um, the filler neck too. Okay, there's more to it, but... If you're wondering why I'm doing that on the ground, so I don't drop it on my head. Damn it, damn it! What did you do? You, you, you know what you did. What did I do? You know what you did. Yeah, I cut his fuel line, I was like, stop this guy. I'm just trying to win, make this guy lose. But no, it's because you don't have the plastic cover there. Hey. Exposed! Why don't you just fault. take the wheel off, bro? I don't need to do that. You can get to everything through here. That's not how we do this in America. We make things so much more typical than it needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll I'm buy you a beer tonight for that. <laughs> here it comes. It's coming out pretty oh, cool. It's cool. And the net. This thing's full. I got it, I got it. Oh, the wine? Oh, wait. Interesting. Interesting. But how is it full if we only put like four oh. gallons in you at the go shop? Up. Get it out of there. This thing isn't. Oh, what? The thing's it's full? It's full. Yeah. It's completely full. Okay, right. then we have more issues than just, yeah. than just that. Okay, so it was leaking out because it was overfilling. It was over full. <laughs> Well, shut off. We put more gas into it. Yeah. Let's start it right off. Right. We load on the trailer. Once it gets at a crazy incline, shuts off. You're like, oh, it's a little fuel, right? Okay. No gas gauge. But then we went to go fill it up. Pissed out gas. Looks like it pissed out gas because uh, it was just overfilled. But uh, why was it shutting off now? I don't remember this thing being this yeah, crusty. Yeah. Here we go. I'm hoping the line just broke for the pump. It didn't. Dude, we it's just filled to the max with ethanol. That is well, that's insane. Why it was leaking. That's why it was leaking. Um, that's no, I mean, it, it looks clean in the tank. The line's not split. So we're gonna see if uh, we got any internal logging data from like that little pull I did. It should have put it in conditions that it would have started logging and see if we could see any fluctuation in the fuel pressure. Looks like fuel pressure was fine, which is a little scary, which means that we probably don't have much of a fueling issue here. <laughs> so that whole like, Filling up with gas and having it run afterwards was just like a fluke. It just happens to be a weird coincidence. So, if we saw something wrong in the log, it would point us into the next direction of what might be wrong. But now we see nothing in our hearts. Sinks. Yeah, we see nothing, and this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so the gas tank's fine, right? It looks a little suspicious, but we're gonna throw it back in because that's what we got. The gas tank is fine. So. Uh, we're just gonna throw it back in, see what happens, try and move on to the next issue. But of course we didn't film this, right? So I'm rig I rigged this whole thing up right here to just get the gas out of the tank because obviously we can't get this thing in there with all the weight in here. So you hear it right now, and hit it, we'll stop. Ooh. Hit it, look at that. It is a pump, that's crazy. It must have wow. been an old log or something then on saved on the ECU. Yep. Hit it again. Shutting it on and off. So the vibrations of the car was probably Look you know what? Whack that pump. It's oh, wow. clap on. Clap, clap on. on. <laughs> Dude, it's insane. What the fuck are you got going over there? Um, <laughs> <laughs> here, 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 I couldn't here. find this. See, I couldn't find this stuff. I just made that for you. Thank you, Johan. That is so funny. That's funny. Dude, I didn't see it in the log. You don't see the fuel pressure shut off. It must happen like at the right time. At the right time. Or I had an old log pulled up because it was yeah. an ECU log file. So there's no time code on the ECU log do uh, download. So you don't know if it's the previous one or not, yeah. but. Mm -hmm. You think it could, where can it be? Wait, can it be here? Oh uh, yeah, so that's pump? the question. Is it in the pump or is it on these shit connectors right here? You see these right here? So instead of whacking this, let's wiggle these. You know, that, that'll tell us. Yeah. Wiggle them, whack the pump. <laughs> that makes, dude, it's like those lamps. Remember those lamps that you yep. used to have a lot when you were kids and you tap them? Hit, dude, check it, like. <laughs> it's so consistent. Hey, uh, I gotta take a lap. Turn my fuel pump on for me. What in the, have you ever seen anything like that in your life? No, uh, I mean, we're running to issues here with Adam and yeah. nothing like this yet. <laughs> now we know though. Oh Shit. my God. See, I'm, I'm I'm now, happy because now we, we see an issue. Now, now, I've seen people like tap the bottom of the tank. So I guess it's the same thing. Yeah, right? Yeah. Shocking it or yeah, in some yeah. way, somehow. I blame Tommy. He took my Dishworks pump and gave me a Bosch pump. 
Yeah, see? That's a forced mistake right there. Well, guess what? We're at Drift HQ where we could take parts right off the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is honestly hilarious. So, Ann, show them it's not the wiring, though. Watch. Shake it real hard. So, that's how you know it's not the wiring. So, I wonder if the motor is just what? on its way out, getting yeah. stuck, like the brush is in it. The motor is attached to that pipe. Yeah, so, so if I get the shock on the yeah. pipe. Right, so check it out, right? It could either be the pump itself, right? Or the connections on the bottom right here. So we're gonna test both by giving it our good old fashioned whack. Ready? Ooh. It's gotta be the pump. Yeah, I think just, you just shorted the pump. Did you just see that? No. It arced. From the, right there. from the holder to here. This is covered in oh, gas. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Check it out of the way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, <laughs> that did not just happen. You should have let that thing burn down. That is so funny. That was hilarious. We just, that dude, is imagine crazy. if that happened in the, in the, in gas, the gas tank. tank. Oh. It wouldn't help because oxygen, you know how it works. But okay. All right, well, pump shit. <laughs> Let's see if we can find one on the shelf. We are here in the Drift headquarters. Drift HQ, head, the Drift headquarters, headquarters. Does that sound right? Drift HQ headquarters? Yeah. Drift headquarters? I don't know. I don't know. Check this out. This is like a hundred grand in egg oil backpack. <laughs> <laughs> so much need and want. <laughs> we'll get you right before we leave. Oh. I see the DW. Oh, Dish works. Find the we need one. a S13 installation kit too. <laughs> where is it? We need we need a 300. What's the part number for a 300? Yeah. Usually it's supposed to be a rubber grommet that fits between the pump and the hanger, right? I am missing mine, and I usually wouldn't do that, but I'm, Tommy was on the dyno, so I had to steal my pump for him, and I threw a pump in real quick, and I completely forgot the installation kit which comes with the rubber, and uh, I never changed it or I never installed it. So after a time, this was vibrating on the hanger, causing it to short out and uh, have issues. You can see it, look at, short it, short it out on the edges. Hmm. So that's pretty pretty crazy to see. So um, we got a DW300 from Adam and uh, we're gonna install this thing and we don't have the true installation kit, we can't find it. So it's gonna be the same thing, but it'll get us through the weekend and uh, we'll fix it when we get back home. And this time I won't forget, so. Just like that. All right, well, let's uh, <laughs> get this thing in there and we should be all good to go. The next day. All right, day two. Come on, boys, let's push you to work. I need, day I need two, some... fuel tank time. It's let's heavy. go. LZ, come on. Shot my balls? <laughs> Love that. Is that for Tommy's? Mm hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Ready, yeah. you ready? Yeah, my car's ready to go. We just fixed this. No, 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 no. I need your help. What? No drifting? Hey man, I got a text to say, hey, you come to the compound, you can drift whenever you want. After UPS comes. Well, so once he leaves, I'm hitting all the jumps. Yeah, six o'clock. Six o'clock? It's gonna be dark. I can't. Come on, boys. Let's get Pat. Let's get to work. Pat said he's not coming back for a couple weeks. Yeah, I got a couple weeks off. <laughs> Roddy, you ready? I said let's lift this up. This isn't my idea. I said let's just lift it up and hold it. But he wants to use this. Look professional. It's got. 15 gallons of gas in it. No, it's empty. Oh, it's yeah, empty now? No, no, no. It's still heavy. Well, well, you we go to the gym. gym. No, this is Jimmy's channel. We can swear, right? I mean, I'm gonna bleep people now. Oh my, you're a bleeper? Yeah. Dude. Oh. I, I guarantee you my CPM's I, higher I, than this guy's, too. I, um, f f f you know? <laughs> <laughs> I only be about, Scumbag. I only be with the Fs, because like- So I, you can say shit. You can say shit. Oh. You say shit on national TV. Dude, if right? you don't yeah. swear for the first minute, you're good. This is nice, you know? I'm not trying to fumble it over my head. Nah, fumble's way funnier. All right, we hooked up. Let's test this thing out. Ready? Does it prime? I hear it. It's quieter. Uh, is it quieter? Yeah. Huh. <sighs> nice. Nice. Shut off. Nope. That's the fix. <laughs> Love to see it. I was definitely really nervous for a minute. Um, I was also brain dead yesterday, so that definitely doesn't help. You'll probably, I'm not excited to edit that footage because I'm gonna be like, what the hell was I doing? But gas tank isn't in great condition, neither is the hanger, but it's working. We got the new pump in, car sounds good. So drivetrain wise, this thing should be good to go. So let's get this sway bar in and go test it on the cat pond. 
great, dude. You got system in it too. I oh, love you, you ever it. heard it? It no, bumps. It dude, I just want like, I just want B-roll footage of my cars in here. Everything looks so good in here. All right, last piece of the puzzle, hopefully. So I have the GK Tech Sway Bar right here, right? It needs to be like an aftermarket one to clear the Jay-Z pan. And so if you look on the ends here, it just has a spline on it. And what it does, we're gonna have like these arms that slip on and we have to end link it to our lower to hopefully stabilize our front suspension. Cause as of right now, we've had this crazy shake to it and it like almost feels like it has play in the front ends and we've checked everything a million times. And I'm starting to think it's just the, we need the sway bar to keep everything stiff because this Jay-Z has makes a lot of weight over these, I guess, dinky little stock arms, right? So it's a full GK Tech system, right? This is gonna go on our lower. This is gonna be our end link. And then this is the crazy arm that slips onto the sway bar and just goes just like this, right? right. Boom. Hardware's a little long. <laughs> All right, end link is on. And then there's different stiffnesses on the bar, right? So basically wherever you put it makes it stiffer. We're gonna go right in the middle to test it out and get an idea of how we like it and just go from there. This, one of these, stick it in there. Use our factory hole for the sway bar end link. Boom, boom, boom. Get it started. Get it started. And then just pound it with a hammer. Yeah, give me that hammer, Tony. Maybe use a rubber mallet, but that's what we got. <laughs> boom. We got a sway bar, boys. Hopefully the Titans are up. Should be. Should be. I really think they should bring the There's car There's no way it's gonna feel worse. That's all <laughs> That's <saying>. true. <laughs> my sway bar is in, my car now runs. Now I'm just gonna take it off and test it. You ready to do some slides together in the compound? Only if we're hitting the jump. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Oh. No? no? Yes? No. Yeah, he's jumped. Yeah, no. even, uh, Johan. No. This is gonna be fire. No. This thing's gonna go into dust. <laughs> no, no. Really? It'll so, be sick. Day two, we got a lot of stuff to do. We're gonna end it here. So you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Day. That's next video. Okay, tandems. I'll bet. I got the Jenny, dude. Just stay away just, from me. I'm just, just gonna just hit stay you. Away from me. You were in the same comp. comp. <laughs> I know, I know. We can be close. Just stay away a little bit. PayPal me. I might bang his door. Okay. Grant, end <laughs> it, buddy. Have a good night.